Well, good afternoon, everyone. I am so glad you stopped by. Welcome to all my neighbors and all my new neighbors and my returning neighbors on YouTube. And I want to talk to you today about something that's on everyone's mind. Everyone thinks about it uh, quite a bit. I was resting last night and about 1.30 in the morning, I woke up abruptly. I had a very strange dream. I was in a store. The shelves were empty, completely bare. There was nothing there. I had a cart and I seemed to be the only one there. And I was racing up and down the aisles to try to find the very few things that I might need for my family. And literally, I was, I was racing up and down. I was very anxious. I was very upset. I couldn't find anything. I looked in every aisle. I looked in every carton and crate and things that I was trying to find. Could not find anything. I abruptly woke up gasping for breath. It was pretty scary. And I thought, this is crazy. So today I just want to stop and talk about positive prepping. Now, everyone has a positive attitude about prepping, but don't let it overwhelm you. Don't let it stress you out. Don't let it create anxiety because it's not worth it. If you have a plan and you're satisfied with the plan, go ahead and just work through your plan little by little. Don't constantly, and this is just my suggestion, don't constantly go to the store and check if that last box of pasta is there. Yes, if you need pasta or you need uh, canned carrots or whatever you might need, go out and do what you need to do. If it's every day, if it's every week, whatever it might be. But don't let it stress you to the point that you're always worried about, oh, I may not have this or I may not have that. If you're prepared or if you have been, been if you've been preparing, you won't be scared, you won't be stressed, you won't have a lot of anxiety. I'm not saying don't get ready. I always say stay ready. And that way, the stress is taken off of you. Deal with what you can control. I can't control what goes on in the world. I can be aware of it. I can be educated on it. And I agree, I want to be educated and aware as much as possible, but I can't fly across the world to help anyone out. I can take care of my area and my family and make sure that I do the very best I can and always be prepared. Always be ready. So I just wanted to take a few minutes and go over that with you since I had a, um, a scary moment, a scary dream that I couldn't find what I needed. Pasta, sauce, canned carrots, whatever it might be. Now, I also make a list. Then I go to a store, two stores, whatever I need. And I buy what I need. I buy what I need for my prepper pantry, for my everyday life. I rotate. So I have a system. I don't want to be stressed out. I think uh, the other day I just started thinking about, well, what if I needed this and I didn't have it? And immediately after that, I wrote it on a list um, and went to sleep. And I guess I was still thinking about it during the night. That's what woke me up. Don't stress. Don't, don't have the anxiety. Just stay ready. Well, I appreciate you stopping by. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And in the comments below, Tell me how you're planning and how you're getting ready. What you have found in the stores, I know that the stocks are low, the supply is low, things are slow getting to the stores, I agree. But let me know how you're handling the everyday life stress with getting ready and staying ready. I'm so glad you stopped by and I hope to see you soon.